Welcome back, you guys, to another episode of I'm an Idiot, because I'm an idiot. So, last episode I caught a Gulpin by the name of Afflin, very promising Pokemon, figured it could destroy Brawly's gym. Then I realized that by going north, and by catching my Pokemon in that route without being able to complete the full route, I was violating one of the core tenets of my variant. That you can't do exactly that. So, I definitely can't use him until after Brawly. Like, until after I finish that entire route, moreover. And it is possible that I'm not allowed to use him ever, as in I have to release him. I'm not sure I have the heart to do this. Because I love him. But I mean, if I don't, he'll have the, the sort of taint of illegitimacy about him for the rest of his existence. And I don't want him to feel illegitimate for the entire rest of his existence. Hopefully that will be a long existence rather than a painfully shortened one. But anyway, Athlon's contraband now because I screwed up. Because I went north where I shouldn't have. I mean, even though it's the furthest north you can go at that route, if I didn't do it for the event with the Pucciana, I can't do it for Athlon. So... Anyways, anyways, what I'm doing now is depositing my other two Pokemon so that it doesn't count as a heal if I catch any new Pokemon so that I can... So, I'm going to deposit these guys. I'm sorry, Lilium Precept. But there just isn't the experience points at this point in the game for me to really give, make a good go at using you two. So, anyways, because if I catch a new Pokemon, it starts out damaged. That means if that Pokemon goes to the PC, because I have six, and they do that if you have six then that counts as using a heal on that Pokemon and would sort of set back the amount of time after which I'm allowed to use that Pokemon. God, why did I do this? I'm really sad because I was really looking forward to using a Gulpin. I don't know if I'm going to force myself to release him. I just don't know. I definitely can't use him until Brawly because he's illegitimate. And I mean, this is the only time for the entire remainder of the game when such an illegitimacy is even possible in the first place. Um, uh, yeah, I want to go back to Duford and then to Pedalburg to, uh, train some more. Yeah, you guys can skip this now if you don't want to watch training music. I just don't want to think about it because I love him too much. What I'll probably do is allow myself to use him once I enter the uh, route, the uh, next route, and I'm going to maybe use him a little bit there, train him up to the point where he gets a move that's not stupid or something like that, but keep going through the route because that's how it's got to be. Anyways, yeah, you guys can probably skip this. It's a semi-grinding episode. I want to use... A few of Gingo's tackles, but not a lot of Gingo's tackles. I want to use those six headbutt power points come eventually, but I also want to use the tackles to like train on stuff. So I'm gonna try and do that um, in the in the area north of Rustboro for the time being. See if Ginkgo's at a high enough level to one hit KO stuff. Hint, he isn't. And then when I find out he isn't, and I start to get really annoyed at myself for. <laughs> thought that he would be all switch out because the only Pokemon that I'm using for gym number two are the ones that don't die in one hit to fighting type moves otherwise known as a uh, god otherwise known as um phantasm and Mikale. um because they because they have decent moves that can deal with those Pokemon I'll be grinding a uh, phantasm in a bit too but then after I beat that there after I beat the uh Brawly's gym, there are a couple of events that I sort of, I'm going to want to have Ginkgo at a reasonable level for dealing with. Well, it definitely won't be a one-hit KO if Tackle misses. 
it's definitely not a one-hit KO. Oh god, I'm still just so mad at myself over this Gulpin thing. Because I really wanted to use him, too, but... It was foolishness to attempt to use him before Brawly's gym. Yeah, this isn't gonna work. I'm just gonna try and Ginkgo to 15 or maybe 16 and then leave. This is a poor idea and it's gonna get me killed. I don't want to get killed. I like my Ginkgo. I like my Ginkgo healthy and alive. Thank you very much. Yeah, Skitty. Rarest Pokemon on the route. And also one of the weakest and least consequential Pokemon on the route. Tail Whip could be scary, but probably isn't. Uh, let's use Tackle here. Um, that's actually a little bit scary. This is probably setting Ginkgo up to, re to receive some sort of heal. I don't really want Ginkgo to receive some sort of heal. It's probably setting Ginkgo up to get one of the uh, Soda Pops before I go into battle against the wherever it is. Mm, yeah, I think Ginkgo's just going to get up to uh, 15, unless I see some sort of urgency for him to get up, for her to get up to uh, 16. Actually, no. I'm going to consign myself to using a Super Potion on Ginkgo, and uh, get him up to the point where his hit points start to become very scarily low. So hopefully that will be 16. Most likely it won't be 16, but hopefully it will be. And then once his hit points get scarily low, I'll use my Super Potion, and then following that, go into Brawly, and not prior to that. Because I do want him, I do want her at decent health going into Brawly, because I'm probably going to end up using some of those uh, hit points on Brawly's... I may, I may end up, if things go poorly, actually having to use Ginkgo on Brawly. Which, hopefully, is not going to happen. You know what? Maybe I won't need a Super Potion. Maybe I can just be done, kind of, right here. Oh, bloody Ninkata is going to make me need a Super Potion. Even though I'm so many levels higher than it, it's just going to be annoying and keep using Harden and make me waste my valuable tackle power, point, power points. Yeah, actually, the depressing thing is I can only kill one more po I can only defeat one more Pokemon here. And it's really a waste of tackle po power points to do so. So, change my mind about using a super potion on Ginkgo. Gonna go back and train um, Phantasm. Why do I keep forgetting to use his name correctly? On a couple more of them lower level Pokemon, and then with that with that accomplished, I'll go fight or I will go attempt to defeat Brawly, the gym leader of Gym Land of the uh, town of Doofer. <laughs> Duford Town. Is it that hard to remember the name of the town? It's Du followed by Ford. It's not that difficult. Find Mr. Briny. Have him make me sail. Yay! Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. And music. Sorry if I'm making you guys tired of the music by playing it over and over again. I'm sure not making me tired of it, so I'm just going to continue to respect its existence. Okay. Switch over to Phantasm, who I'm going to need at a fair, but not necessarily dominating level to take on Brawly. I mean, with an attack of 12, Wing Attack is going to be weak and uh, prone to getting Phantasm defeated, which, you know, I don't want. I'd say it is more likely than not that I'm going to use a Super Potion um, in the coming couple of minutes. It's not guaranteed, but it's likely. I'll go for Ginkgo then. I'm also probably not going to heal off Mikalay's 5 damage, because I'm not that concerned about what Brawly can do to me. Although, watch as I am proven wrong in my lack of concern. Like, horribly, tragically wrong. Okay, so this training needs to be done down here, because Aaron. Because of... Aaron. Because of exactly this Pokemon, this training wants to be done down here. Uh, because Water Gun is awesome. Yeah, what I'm gonna do is use up all of his Water Guns in training on mostly Aaron's. 
Or is that foolishness? I'll use up some, but maybe not all of them training on Arns, and then I'm going to go into Brawly with wing attacks. I will use as many wing attacks as I can on the things like Zubat that can be defeated with, with wing attacks, but that's not actually a whole lot of Pokemon. While attempting to save some wing attacks, I will use most wing attacks on these Pokemon. I will use some wing attacks on these Pokemon here. I'm probably not going to use all of my water guns immediately, so Phantasm will probably only hit a uh, 16 or 17 at best, which is, you know, sort of subpar, but that's life. Switch off to Mikale. Doesn't matter if I get Leech Life, because that, that will make a total of 7 damage as opposed to 6, and Supersonic is a fail move anyway, so Peck. Peck being most dispensable of Mikale's moves at this moment. Phantasm gained 38, and Mikale gained 38. Yeah, if I use all of my water guns, I might run into trouble in the future uh, route adventures, because I'm probably going to move on to the next route after this without healing, because I want to save as many heals as, as I can. Right now I have, Ru what, Rustboro, Duford, Slateport, and then I'll try and get Mauville. Okay, so yeah, Wing Attack beats Makuhita. Because Fighting Type... I would have this fighting type on my side. Okay, good. It doesn't do that much damage. Arm Thrust is one of those moves that's very scary if used on a Pokemon that doesn't resist it. Luckily, Phantasm resists it, so hopefully I'm nowhere near dying, but you want to be able to defeat these just in case. Okay, what's now? I sort of wish I had potions. I don't have any potions. I wish I just had regular old potions for healing off smaller increments of damage. I shouldn't have, maybe I shouldn't have been so liberal about my potion use in the early game. Because I don't want to waste a whole lot of super potions on Pokemon that can't take them. Or Pokemon that don't gain the full benefit from them. I mean, that's why I'm probably going to try not to use Soda Pops until I have Pokemon that actually have more than 60 hit points. So right now I don't think I do. Because I've got my 6 Soda Pops, but... Anyway, this is a lot of Zubats, and not a lot of Aarons. I think that means I want to go down one more level to find more Aarons. Or Aarons, or how however it is customarily pronounced. And then Freak Out Zone comes when Phantasm gets in, the, uh, gets in range of being possibly defeated. I think going back and grinding is legitimate, like I'm doing currently. Is there anything wrong about that? I don't think there is. It's smart use of power points in the different environments. Okay, I'll call that not illegitimate. Because if I deem it illegitimate, that invalidates my entire adventure thus far. Oh, I'm sure you guys are kind of bored with watching my Pokemon defeat things and hearing me sort of ramble on, and I mean, I guess there's not a whole lot for me to say. Because that's sort of what's happening. It occurs to me that every time a Zubat confuses Phantasm, I miss out on an opportunity to uh, use Wing Attack on a Fighting-type Pokemon down the road. So I ought to just be switching out to Mikale for every Zubat and defeating them with him. I probably want Mikale at 21, too, before I go in there. Although I don't really, because again, the whole overtraining charge is beginning to frighten me a bit. Okay, let's get something. You still haven't seen the scariest Pokemon in this cave, have you? All right, let's go. Water gun. Is this one hit? Is this one hit KO, Aaron? At this level? Nope, nope. It actually doesn't. And actually makes scary things happen to me. <laughs> Oi, yeah, that's scary. Hmm. Is it time? I don't want to risk my future well-being on a potential critical hit, Aaron. I'm definitely going to go back down here. I don't know if it's actually time yet to leave. But yeah, this is, this is a scary situation, because if one of them scores a critical hit on Phantasm, that's GG. And like here, hopefully it'll use something lame and inconsequential like Harden. But if it hadn't, that might have been a good game. Yeah, so I'm just going to get out of here now, and then I'm going to go uh, heal up and challenge the gym. 
so running, 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 running into Pokemon, as it were. You might actually not get to see the really scary thing down here. Those of you who played Pokemon Sapphire before, you all know what I'm talking about, the Pokemon that I'm referring to, that is down here and sort of scares me and always eats up all my great balls whenever I try to capture it. Which is not this game, though. Yeah, right now it's just Aran, which will become scary later as it as it evolves, but is currently not the most terrifying thing in the world. Like, certainly more terrifying is Brawly's Pokemon, who, you know, rip through things such as my Pokemon. Uh, let's see. Okay, we're out of there. Uh, might as well keep it with Phantasm as we escape in case I run into a Geodude or something, which we haven't seen either. Alright. Anyway, it looks like this has been another exciting, and by exciting, I mean wholly uneventful game of Pokemon Sa or Let's Play episode of Pokemon Sapphire. And you guys ready to find out whatever a big wave in fighting refers to? I know I am. Inside of the gym. Heal up my Pokemon. And I will see you guys not stealing Husky Starcraft's intro. And the beginning of this will be begun next time. Goodbye for now. Yeah, I should stop saying goodbye for now. It doesn't really suit me. But goodbye then.